Well, if you've ever been to London, you know there's history around every corner. Some of it visible right in front of your eyes on the streets and in museums. But if you're willing to get your hands a bit dirty, there's a whole other level of treasure. It's buried along the banks of the Thames, and as Emily Elias discovered, when the tide is out, the mudlarking begins. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's exactly, I love finding these. Things. This is how Nicola White spends her free time, searching through the thick Silton rocks on the Thames Riverbed, foraging for bits of history, also known as mudlarking. We find all sorts of things. There's Tudor history, Anglo-Saxon, a lot of Victorian history. It's very industrial along Greenwich, Woolwich. So you're going to find lots of little bits of shipbuilding uh, metal. World War II artifacts, a bit of everything actually. Someone said that the River Thames was liquid history. So much has happened on its waters. Mudlarking isn't a new phenomenon. And over the past 12 years that Nicola White and her partner David Nolan have been at it, they've found their fair share of treasures, such as rings, pipes dating back to the 1600s, and even a pair of glasses from the Second World War. Literally, there was just a little bit sticking out of the mud, and it was just pure luck. I just pulled them out, and there, there they were. But you need more than a pair of wellies to go mudlarking. There are, in fact, rules. First of all, you need to have a license in order to start digging on the riverbed. And after that, if you happen to find something that's historically significant, you need to take it to the Museum of London and have it registered. And that's the thing about mudlarking. You never know what you're going to find. I found a human femur sticking out of the mud. Dog paid a lot of attention to it, being a bone, of course, and uh, subsequently started scraping and found rib cage, and then I found the pelvis. And then, of course, you have to involve the police. Turns out it wasn't a crime scene, but a body from the 16th century. I've often found some really interesting things under here. It's the lure of history, discovery and imagination that keeps this couple combing the shores. Because every tide is different. Every tide might throw something else up. You might come and find absolutely nothing, and then one day you might find something really special. So I suppose it's that that keeps you coming back. Emily Elias, Global News, London.